I was searching on Google Images for castles to get some inspiration and I came across those castles. The most well known and basic design. Looking back on what I found on YouTube, I found nothing but ugly basic castle tutorials. Which is kinda obvious if you take such a model to build. So, I challenged myself to make it look attractive while it's still being the basic design. I didn't overshoot myself so that I could make a tutorial about it. And here it is. I made the towers round instead of square because we already see that a lot in Minecraft. Also the walls have a lot of details and the wood is added as an extra texture so that the bricks don't blend too much together. So in that way we can make something fancy with a basic design. And I will show you how to build that block by block. To prevent you from making any mistake. I got the numbers of blocks that you need to place written right here. But I will show you block by block obviously how you need to build it. Starting off with the left tower we will start on the left corner and build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 blocks towards the right side. You do exactly the same going above to the side and going below. Make sure every side is 7 blocks, so count it afterwards, because if you don't, maybe later you will need to remove everything and that's really a bummer. So on this side, start in the middle, place a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 blocks. Once that is done, you just need to repeat the whole same structure as you did before, so 7 blocks here. The best way to do that is to place one block every time on the side to be able to find the middle. And then you just finish the square. You do that on every single tower and wall. And then actually it's just like a big square. So it's the same once again. So here once again 13 blocks. The square going to the other side as well. And in the middle 5 blocks on each side. Five and 5, leaving a gap of 3 blocks. Once that is done we actually need to build this one more layer up. So every tower will need to be 2 layers up like this. Just follow my steps carefully and it will be really easy to build it yourself. So leave the corners open like that. And build 3 more blocks on top of those. We have the outside layer, now we need to build the inside layer of the tower. Just make a little square in the middle. And once that is done, you just need to build it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up. And in total, it will be 9 blocks, counting from here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All you need to do now is just finish the square, the right middle square, and build it all the way up until this little pillar that you built already. Once that is done, just repeat it on every single tower. Now let's move on to the walls. The walls need to be 8 blocks up. So it will be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So this block will actually be one layer below the tower. So make sure that happens on every single wall that I mark right here. So between this block and this block, this block and this block and this block and this block. If you correctly follow this step, your castle should look like this. 
Now we will start with the entrance by building 3 stone bricks on each side and on top of those one chiseled stone brick for an extra texture. Place the stairs on top of those and rejoin the right middle. Once that is done you just need to place one more stair on each side and repeat the same process actually on the other side. It should look like this on the other side as well. Now we can close the gap that is above the gate. To simulate a gate you can actually place some fences. The color choice is your choice. Now we will start with the front gate. Place some four blocks and some stairs on top of it facing towards the middle. On top of those you place some four blocks again. Stairs facing the same way to the inside and then upside down on top of them. Now the stairs face to the outside. On top of those you place them normally facing your way. Repeat the same process on the right side as well, right here. And on the inside as well, right here and right here. Once that is done we can start with the walls. The design will be the same. Leave one gap in between those pillars every time. So once again, four blocks, stairs facing towards the middle, upside down. First the stairs facing inside, then the stairs facing your way. Repeat the same shape on this pillar, this one, this one, and obviously on the other walls as well. You should have a gap on the left side and one gap on the right side. Once everything is done you can actually close those gaps that we left open while building the walls and the towers. Now we can start placing some stairs upside down in the right middle. Once that is done you place the other stairs facing this way, upside down towards the middle. On top of those you can place some four blocks. Watch carefully, you need to place four four blocks on the right side and four four blocks on the left side and three in the middle. On top of those stairs you need to place the stairs facing towards the middle. Watch carefully. Now place some stone slabs. And under those stone slats we'll need to place some gates. To be able to do that we need to place a full block beneath it. So what block you use is not really important. Place them and open them. And remove the block afterwards. Repeat the same thing on those walls as well. So four blocks here, three in the middle, 
four blocks and do the same right here four blocks three and four it should look like this on every single side now we can start by removing some blocks that are in between those pillars place two stairs facing this way normally and one upside down and one normally and remove the last gap that is just above those I will make a couple mistakes here but don't pay too much attention a full block one place normally and one upside down with one gap open above Now you can remove this one on the right side, one here, one gap, one here, one gap, and one last gap. Do the same on the left side. Now we will need to place a full block behind it because obviously otherwise we cannot place a log against it facing your way place some stone buttons on the locks now we'll finish the front gate it's really easy just build three blocks here two blocks on the sides with one gap in between We will keep the same design by placing the stairs facing toward each other. Now place the stone slabs once again. And obviously the fence gates just below. Now you can actually place some chiseled stone bricks on the gaps that are missing on the top of it. You can do that on every wall. We are missing some textures here as well with wood, so I decided to add some pillars. Place a stone button on the log once again. Now finish the back side of the gate as well. It's exactly the same shape as the other side, so it shouldn't be a problem.
place the fence gates once again and open them. Now we will start with the towers. Remove the top blocks and place some upside down stairs. And once that is done you can place some stairs placed normally. Remove those blocks. Watch carefully. Place one log here and then fill the gaps that are behind those. Place some chiseled stone bricks to add some little textures. And one more chiseled stone brick there. Place a trap door on the top of the log. And obviously some buttons. Now we will build a simple basic window. Place two full blocks like this, then the stairs facing this way and afterwards you need to remove this block right there. Use some spruce fences and then take these stone slabs to add a little bit more of color to the window once again. Take the iron bars and place them to simulate a window. Place a chiseled stone brick on top of it and once again some stairs facing upside down towards the outside. Repeat the same shape on every single side of the tower. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one as well, and this side and the last side right here. Once that is done it should look like this. So we should get like a symmetrical castle. Then you can remove the corners and replace them with some locks. On top of those you place stairs facing this way. You repeat the same process on every single tower. Now we can remove the corners right here and place a lock there, one here and one on the last corner right there. Then you can remove like four blocks in between those and place one more on top of it. To make the tower a little bit more round we can place some walls. Repeat the same process on every single tower. It should look like this. Now we can actually start placing some full blocks on top of those. Here you'll need to take some stairs and place them upside down. You can then again place some full blocks on top of them. Leave this one open. Repeat the same process and place some full blocks on top of them. Now watch carefully how I place the stairs against those blocks.
once again watch carefully. Go into the inside, once again to the inside, four corners and the corners right here need to face to the closest stair. So in this case to the outside. Now you can actually add the oak wooden planks to add a little bit of color on top of the castle. To be able to climb the tower you'll need to place some stairs down like that. You can also add some color to the walls as well by placing some oak wood on top of them. Remove the middle row, in this case it's the inside row. and repeat the same process on every single wall. And do the same from this tower to the other three towers. Place some gates once again. It should look like this. If you don't like the inside, you can actually remove it and repeat the same process as you did before by placing some wood like that and then some walls. But if I were you, I will just do that to the gate entrance because the walls will be left blend like that. So I leave this open to be able to build buildings against those walls. What you want to put inside it is all up to you. You can still finish the walls by placing those like that. Repeat the same process on every single wall. And obviously fill those gaps with the chiseled stone bricks. It should look like this. It's almost done. Now we will need to finish the gate. Place some fences facing this way. Then a fence gate. And once again, two fences going two down. And once again, the gates on top of those. Now that that is done, you can remove the ground just below the fences. And you can replace it with some spruce wooden slabs.
Don't forget to replace those blocks as well. And those as well. Now we can start removing some ground to be able to put some water in it. Let the spruce wooden slabs overhang by one over the water. For me it's four blocks wide so what we need to do is start from the same pillar on this side and remove four blocks and then rejoin the same row as the other one. Now we can go all around like that. Once that is done it should look like this. All you need to do now is actually make the corners a little bit more round. And this is the end result. Your castle is done. You can enjoy it now and build whatever you want inside it. If you want me to build something else inside a castle because obviously there is a lot of room, let me know. If I get enough suggestions, I will consider it and maybe make a tutorial about it. So if you did like this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe obviously if you're new. Goodbye and have a good time.